name is Greg, and today I'm gonna tell you a recipe. How to turn an onion into a snake. To do that, you don't need no wizard. All you need is an uncle. Not this one, this one. So right now, you must be thinking, what the hell is he talking about? I am, obviously, talking about architecture. The onion architecture was introduced by Jeffrey Palermo in 2008. At that time, most of the architecture were layered architecture, represented by boxes, rectangles. So the big idea of the onion architecture was to use circles instead. In 2012, the clean architecture was created by Uncle Bob. It shares some idea with the onion architecture, especially the fact that it's using circles instead of boxes. Two years later, the guys at Mutual Mobile presented the Viper archi architecture. The Viper architecture is not a new architectural pattern per se. It's in fact the clean architecture we saw previously, but adapted for an iOS context. The best idea of this pattern, obviously, is its name. The name of your architecture is very important. <laughs> it's so important that there is even a, even a website that allows you to choose names for your architecture. So obviously, this is a random generator. So it gives you strange names like this one or this one. And sometimes it gives you really stupid names, like this one. <laughs> the no one would ever call an architectural pattern model view of your model, right? But you might ask me, why is the name of your pattern so important? It is so important because Imagine, you are at a fancy tech conference, like right now. At any moment, someone can come to you and ask you, what kind of architecture are you using? And at that moment, all you want to do is to shine. You want to answer something like, I'm using Viper, because that's badass. You don't want to say something like, I'm using some crappy named architecture. But if those mainstream patterns do not suit your needs, and you want to create your own patterns, and you like that snake style of Viper, you can try to create something like, I don't know, the blocks-oriented architecture. Boa. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe even more simple, the asynchronous native analogical controller-oriented neo-design architecture, also known as Anaconda. <laughs> <laughs> but there is a problem with this pattern. Can you see it? Anaconda is also the name of a crappy movie from the 90s. <laughs> and you don't want your pattern to be named after a crappy movie from the 90s. So, speaking about bad names, I would like to end this talk with one of the worst names of our entire industry. I am talking, of course, about UI View Controller. So, this word is a troll. I mean, it is literally a troll. Look, it's written in it. <laughs> so it will be hard with a troll face behind me, but this will be my only serious advice of this talk. Whatever the architectural pattern you are using, from the Apple recommended MVC to the fancy Viper and even with the poorly named MVVM, all those patterns will always have a V layer for the view. And this trollish UI view controller should always go to that layer. Thank you. Thank you.